Welcome, and thanks for joining me. Today I decided to just stay in and relax a little bit and watch movies. And then I discovered I didn't have popcorn. I'm not about to go out because it's snowing like Christmas Eve. So I guess I'll have to make my own. My favorite is Chicago style. You know, the cheddar and the caramel. caramel? It's delicious. So stick around. Let's make some popcorn. So first we're going to make um, our cheddar popcorn. And um, let me turn my pan on. We want it to kind of heat up, so I'm going to put it on high. And I'm going to spray the pan. I have a cup of um, yellow kernels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a few in here. When it starts to, when it's heated up enough to cook the popcorn, these are going to pop and I'm just going to add the rest in. I just want you to see the process. You can see they're starting to heat up. Like I said, when these break open, that lets me know that, see, there you go, that the pan is hot enough, and I can put my uh, the rest of my popcorn in. I want them to go ahead and pop. I'm going to turn it down now. Uh, some of us remember Jiffy, Jiffy popcorn. Remember? Come on, one more. I'm going to wipe this out. Spray it a little bit more. We're going to cook some popcorn. Mm-hmm. Let them sit for about three or four minutes because they will continue to, to pop. And you want to get almost every kernel if possible. I'm going to let that cool and I'll show you what we'll do next. So we want to work with it while it's still warm. I'm going to get this. I'm going to put them in two. I don't want to pour it. I don't want popcorn everywhere. And we can leave some of those kernels behind that haven't popped. Okay, I've clarified some butter. I just uh, boiled it and took the cream off of the top. I poured it through some, um, oh, um, geez. Hold on. I poured it through some cheesecloth. That's all. It's not perfect, but most of the cream is gone. And so we're just going to spray it. Get the hand free. Some good popcorn. This is a really cheap dollar store bottle. I need to invest in a good one. I 
I'm going to do this until I get it nice and oily. Get them nice and oily. They're nice and oily. Buttery, shall I say. Let's see the butter on my hand. Maybe you can see. So, what we're going to do next, I have two packs of cheese. And I've got it out of these boxes. Take the box up. I can always use this for something later. Okay. I may not use need to, but we'll see. I didn't add any salt or anything because you know, um, cheese has enough salt. Let's check it up a little bit. I like um, cheese popcorn alone as well, but I like it with hot sauce. When we were young, my nephew, Shiraz, we went and bought some uh, cheese popcorn. And said, I want some hot sauce. I said, what you want hot sauce for? He said, put on my popcorn. I'm like, oh, that's nasty. And I tried them and I've been hooked ever since. Thanks, Shiraz. Love ya. And you put as much as you like, make it as cheesy as you like, and this is pretty cheesy, but I want some more. I'm just making sure I mix what's there before I make my final decision on adding more or not. And, uh, mm. I'm going to add some more. Mm-hmm. One more. Add some more. <coughs> Let's see. And it's not salty either. But remember, if you make some, do not add salt to your popcorn because this will take care of it very well. Mm-hmm. Are we coming along? I hope you can see it well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to toss this around some more and I'm going to uh, set it to the side and we're going to start on our caramel popcorn. Mm -hmm. I'm making my second batch of popcorn for my caramel corn. So I'm going to take it off the heat. But I'm going to keep it in this container covered because I want to keep it warm until I'm ready to place it in the other container and add the caramel sauce. 
So in this pan, I'm going to add a stick of butter. And we're going to let it melt. Okay, I'm adding in a cup of brown sugar. Mix that. I have a half a cup of k roll syrup. going to bring this to a boil. going to take a minute. Okay, see how it's starting to boil? We're going to let this boil a few minutes. Just let it go and let it boil. Be very, very careful with this because this will burn you severely. Mm -hmm. so we're just going to let this go for a couple minutes. Make sure to keep stirring though. Okay, I'm going to remove this from the heat. Ooh. Adding in a half teaspoon of salt. Oh, I don't want to come on. Mix that in. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. The heat is still going. Did you just? Get it off of this heat. Ooh. I have to get it off the heat. Have a third of a cup of heavy cream. I'm sorry, I keep moving it because I have to, it's still a little heat coming from uh, that stove top. And we have one more ingredient. To go. I'm going to add a couple of drops of vanilla flavoring. And that's going to be it for that. I'm going to let this sit for a minute. And I'm going to put my uh, popcorn. Excuse me. Let me show you. I have a bigger bowl for this one. Can you see it?
I'm just going to uh, spray it a little. And I may not use all of that hot corn. I'm just going to add some in. Stir my caramel. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good. And it's still nice and warm. So I'm going to add popcorn into this bowl. You get that in there. So we're going to do some at a time. And this caramel is so good. You wouldn't even believe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Put this on the market. I kid you not, it's so good. Simply delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, what? I'm trying to make sure that every kernel is covered. That's the way I like it. See, I put the, uh, sprayed the, uh, the bowl so it wouldn't stick to the bowl. It's doing a really good job of pre preventing that. But, um, also I'm going to put the top in here for a sec. And shake it up. Okay, here you are. And, um, I'm just going to let them cool. And then we're going to put them together. And look here, if you like um, um, caramel popcorn with nuts, you see how it's like kind of sticky right now? This will be a wonderful time to just throw you some nuts in here. If that's what you like. Remember the Cracker Jack? I don't know if you do or if you don't, but you would add you some, um, like I said, throw you some nuts in here right about now and they'll turn into little clusters. But I'm going to let this sit for a minute and I'm going to put it together. But first, I had to show you what I was doing. I had to put this, this, um, this caramel popcorn on a cookie sheet because we want to just let the candy set for a little while. You know, I get a little hard and have that little crunch to it. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. 
And just kind of like holding them a little, that's all. You're gonna get some that's gonna get stuck together, of course, it's candy. And then we'll put them together. We'll marry them. Mm-hmm. And if you like them a little spicy, because some people do, like I said, I like my uh, popcorn, my uh, cheddar popcorn spicy. I'm gonna show you what to do just as soon as I can free my hands up a little bit. And you won't regret it. When you make this, and if you make this, I should say, if you make this, try it with this little spice that I'm going to show you. And if you like spicy things, I think you'll like that. You know, spicy, sweet, salty. All of that can go, go together pretty well. Kind of tickle your taste buds. I'm going to let this sit for, I don't know, until it gets the way I want it. Probably about 30 minutes or so. That's about it. Because as soon as you lay them out, they start getting hard like they are now. So it's not going to take that long. Get some of those. Yeah, I think that's it. And I was going to say, sprinkle it with uh, this Frank's seasoning. This is really good. It tastes just like the hot sauce. It just is in a powder form. Ooh, a kid, okay? It's kind of dark right there, huh? Okay. We'll just let this get hard. Oh, and spray your pan before you put it on there because if you don't, you know, they'll be all stuck to it and you'll be mad. <laughs> this is how loose you want them to be. I'm going to add some. And add the most of what you love. Then let that be the most. Because I made way more um, cheddar than I did uh, caramel. There you have it, Chicago Mix. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And remember to pray. Then pray some more. Pray for her, pray for him, pray for you. Pray for them, pray for us. Don't stop praying. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Tap that bell if you haven't. Share with friends and family. Comment. I would love to hear from you. Well, that's it and that's all. And until next time, eat well and stay blessed. Bloop. It's really good. It's really tasty. Make some for the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. -hmm. Delicious. Later. 